What's up YouTube? This is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I have another 10 tweaks for you guys. So the first tweak is called No Fade, aka the Travis Scott. He don't want that fade. Alright, so let's go to Spotify. So this is a Spotify tweak. And if you go to now playing after a couple of seconds, the time of the song will fade away. So if I hit play, the time will actually fade away. But with this tweak, the, the time limit doesn't fade away. So if you look right here, you'll still see the time. Usually it will just fade away after the song is playing, but with no fade, it just stays there so you know exactly where you are while you're listening to the song. Not really useful, but it is what it is. Yeah, that one is no fade. And the other one is called no tiff. No tiff basically is a notification tweak. So let's turn off this music. So if I go down my notification, it basically keeps showing you the, the history of your notification. Why is it? <laughs> it keeps sliding up because it's, it's, it's noticing my face. Let's slide down. Oh, let's, let's go to the lock screen. This is weird. Just like that. It says no older notifications. So no tiff basically keeps all your notification in the history. And yeah, it's not really... <laughs> A useful tweet but if you guys want to check it out you guys could check it out okay and the next one is called easy Cydia opener easy Cydia opener basically lets you open up Cydia from your control center so if I want to open up Cydia I could tap right there and Cydia will open just like that that one is called easy Cydia notif notif easy Cydia opener and to to set that up you're gonna have to go to control center when you download this tweak it would also download silo and then you go to control center and then you guys could go in there and just drag it up right there so yeah easy city opener and the other one is called hood customizer hud customizer if i go if I hit my volume you could barely see it but it's there so i could go to settings and configure it how i like it so I could do the appearance. I could do the opacity. I'll bring that up. So now you see, now you see it's all big. And it's and it's lasts real long. If I wanna want it to go off immediately, I could bring it down. Just like that. If I want it to last a little longer, I bring it up. I could change the size. See that now it's real small. I could even change the roundness of the corners to make it kind of square. So you basically you could customize it to however you like. So yeah, that one is called Hood Customizer. And then the other one is called Sugar Cane. Sugar Cane is a tweak for the control center again. If you look at my control center, you could see the percentage. So if I turn the volume all the way up, you could see it turned to a hundred. Hard to see, but just like that. And the brightness, same thing. So, yeah, that one is called Sugar Cane. And then the other one is called LS Pull to Dismiss. So, if I get a notification, well, let's go to my messages. Send myself a message real quick. Test. And as soon as I get the message, it's going to pop up on the lock screen. Did I hit send? yeah just like that and I could just swipe down and it will go away so that's LS pull to dismiss it does pull to dismiss your notifications and then the other one is called Twitter dark mode Twitter dark mode is basically for the, the official Twitter app and then you're gonna go go on to Twitter and then you're gonna enable the Twitter dark mode Twitter has a dark mode built in but it's kinda gray it's not as dark as this one see that one that one is fully black and on this iPhone 10 with the OLED screen, it's super dope. So just enable the dark mode within Cydia. Just go into your settings, enable it, and enable this one from the jailbreak. And then you get its full dark mode, which is real cool and real dope. So I thought I had dark mode on YouTube. Let's go to turn YouTube on. There we go. Dark mode on Twitter, dark mode on YouTube. So the next week is called Artist, Artist, whatever it is. But what this does is you can see 
a little animation every time while I open up an app. You can see the way it bounces just like that. So let's do that again. See it bounce that way. I kind of bounce that. This is what this tweet does. You could go in there, you could set up however you like. You could bring it down. And then you could lessen it. You could just basically go in there and set it up however you like. And as soon as you move, you can see that little animation to the left and right. Just like that. That one is called Porters. And the other one is called GPS Cheat. This one is kind of cool. You guys want to switch up your locations. This one works decent. It's not the best, but for iOS 11, a lot of them don't work, but this one kind of works. So here it is right here. You could go to random location, global application. So the application one is pretty cool. So let's go back to random, but let's go over here to application. So I could go in here and I could switch up the location. So if I want to switch up my Snapchat location, where is it at? I have mine set to to Mandeville in Jamaica. So if I scroll in, you could see it says I'm in Mandeville. So that's in Jamaica. That's where I'm from in Jamaica. So if I go to Snapchat, let's go to Snapchat real quick. And if I take a picture and I go to the filters, it's going to give me the filters for Mandible. Be careful how you use this with Snapchat because sometimes when you fake your location on Snapchat you will get um, banned. But yeah, that's the filters from Mandible and I'm in Delaware. So I know I'm in, that's where I'm at and I'm in Wilmington. And another thing you could set, basically just switch it up per application and all that. So if I go to my weather, where's my weather? Let's go to weather. Right now it's still like the first one that pops up is that I'm in Mandeville. And then you can scroll through the other ones and find out where you're at. But yeah, like the first one, it always default back to Mandeville. Because that's where I have it set up for my location. So you guys could just go in there. Where is it at? These are all the applications. And you could go to random global. So wherever you are, you just either drop or you could clear them could switch up the map it looks just like that then you could drop that location you hit save and if, a lot of people have been asking me about um, GPS cheat or like a, some form of faking location you guys could try out this one and my last one is called Circa Circa that's how I got these circle icons basically very simple and if you guys want to know how I got rid of the, the labels this is very easy you don't have to use label hide or hide label 10 whatever it is in Cydia what you could do if you download anemone this is the anemone setup right here you don't even need a thing you could just go through and disable certain things so the reflection that I have on the bottom I got it from here because it said dark reflection and blurred reflection so I could take the blur off so if I take those off it'll go away and the labels that's how I hide the labels so if I turn that on I mean and then no dark if I go there Oh, did I hit apply? I don't think I hit apply. Let me hit apply real quick. Now you can see everything is back. There's no reflection. So that's how I do it. So this is like one tweak that you could get multiple. So I could put the reflection back. No labels and no dock. And preview. Apply and everything is gone and now you see my reflection so people have been asking me how do I get the reflection that's how I do it and that's how I remove the um, labels I just use anemone because I could kill like three or four birds with one stone instead of having a specific tweak for each one so there you go guys those are 10 tweaks it's Prince with ATP 101 make sure to subscribe and like this video peace thanks for watching so before I go Fortnite I just released but for some reason I can't get it to work on my iPhone 10 I think it's because it's jailbroken and this is my iPhone 6 doesn't want to work on the iPhone 6 this thing is probably too old uh, and, the, and the iPhone 10 this is what I'm getting
that's all I can get. So I don't know if we might have to use a jailbreak um, app, a jailbreak, a tweet that hides the jailbreak from certain like like eternity and something like that. So we might have to do something like that. But yeah, I never played Fortnite before, so I'm gonna be playing. Sucks it doesn't work on this device. So yeah.